Alright guys, what is going on? In this video, we're going to talk about how 5 and 25 are completely changed how you look at prioritizing your life. Alright guys, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Luxury from the MD journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, we're gonna talk about a principle called the 525 principle. It's probably not one of the principles that's talked to, uh, about enough. Many of you guys may have heard of the 80-20, you know, Parkinson's law, all of these things. But 525 is something that I've picked up recently. I wanted to give you the perspective uh, of a med student. So let me give you the backstory of where it comes from. Many of you guys know who Warren Buffett is. And uh, if you don't, he's a very successful investor, but also just a very brilliant man in terms of managing his time and looking at things with uh, a very unique perspective. I guess that's why he's such a good investor. People come to him for advice on trying to do the same and getting some mentorship and consulting uh, under his wink. So one of his employees or somebody came to him saying, you know, Mr. Buffett, I'd really want to become successful. Can you help me? He's like, sure, I need to first understand where your priorities lie. So I need you to go back home and come up with a list of your priorities and list them, you know, rank them. Um, and then come back to me when you're done. So he comes back uh, with a list and has 30 things on his list. And Mr. Buffett says, okay, like, show me your top five. And so he tells him his top five and long story short, the man starts saying, you know, I get it, Mr. Buffett. Um, I'm going to focus on the top five. And then ever so often, I'm going to give some time to my 25, but focus on the top five ever so often, you know, focus on 25. There's nothing that sounds wrong about that, right? But instead, Mr. Buffett's like, no, you need to get rid of those 25. Those 25 are your biggest distractors. So think about that, guys. Those 25 things, the things that are semi-important, but not our top five, are the things that are taking the most amount of our attention and are distracting us from doing the things that are most important in our lives. There are things that we wanna do. We wanna learn an instrument, we wanna learn how to cook, we wanna learn how to play a new sport, speak a new language, but they may not be in our top five. In medicine, we want may want to you know get a high step one score. We may want to use resource one, two to a thousand. We may want to get an A in anatomy and do a research project and get published in the New England Journal. There's a lot of things there, right? Uh, but you can't do all 30 things at a time because, you know, when you try to do all things, you're going to be very mediocre instead of doing one thing very well. So instead, use the 525 principle in your life and in med school, which is identify the five things in your life. Uh, and medicine, this is going to be two different lists, but try to intermingle them if possible and ask yourself, what are your priorities? And be very specific. Don't just say, I want to do well in school because that's very broad and that can start covering 25 other things. Saying, I want to uh, become, you know, I want to get this score on my step one exam. That's a priority and that's totally fine. You can you can have those goals because realistically that score may make or break uh, certain chances or make things easier for you. So I'm totally down with having a goal like that. But once you have the goal, make sure you have room for four other realistic priorities and goals. So that includes also your health, your family, any spiritual obligations that you like to take on. Um, make sure that those are also included. The top five things in your life cannot be about medicine because then you're gonna lose a part of yourself. And that's definitely not what I try to teach uh, here on this channel. So identify your top five uh, within medicine, within your own life. And then the six to 29 or six to 30, you may say, well, actually, I, I, I still wanna learn a new language. I still wanna learn a new sport. Like, what do I do? I'm not saying to give up on it completely. I'm saying first accomplish your first five, get that step one score, you know, and then worry about learning a new language. Um, get all, you know, do something in your top five accomplished and move to number six and then keep adding to it. You're going to become much more successful in life if you use such a principle. It's a, it's a very easy way of prioritizing um, because it really just puts things into perspective. I want to say it one more time. The things that are from six to 30 are your biggest distractors, not the things that are from 50 to 100. Um, those take your time ever so often, the YouTube channels, whatever. It's the six to the 30 that really takes a lot of our time. So I'm going to make this video quick. Identify your one to five, identify your six to 30 and focus on the, the five that really matter. Hopefully this video was a little bit enlightening um, to some of you guys. And if it was, you know, comment below, let me know what you think. 
Uh, like the channel, obviously. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel um, if you want more videos like this. There's a mixture of motivation. There's a mixture of tips in the MD journey. That's just who I am. Uh, as I learn things throughout medicine, uh, throughout medical school, but I just life in general, I'm gonna throw it out to you. And my goal is, even if it helps one person watching this, I'm talking to you. You know, if it helps you, perfect. This video was worth uh, making it, even if a thousand other people saw it and found it useless. Um, so if you're that one, uh, this video is worth it. Um, like so again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, um, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends.